Okay, in this segment, we're going to show you how to combine the rotary knob that we just uh, explained how to set up with flight modes. So this is going to give the advantage of, in fact, what we're going to do here is I'm going to select this switch. You can select any switch you want, but this three position switch to have flight mode one, two, and three. Flight mode one, I'm going to turn off. It's going to be inactive. So in case I get into a situation where you know, for whatever reason, let's say the receiver comes loose in the airplane or something's not happy. I can always flip in that rearward position, turn it off and safely get the airplane home. Or I can simply just compare. Here's what it feels like with gains off. Here's what it feels like with it on. Flight mode two, I'm gonna to set to a moderate gain that's barely, you know, uh, stable, but not overly aggressive. It doesn't have hard stops. It's just comfortable to fly. And then in flight mode three, um, I'm going to set it up with a more aggressive gain. I can utilize that for slow speed flying or 3D flying, hovering, and or landing uh, approaches where actually you can use more gain for stability so it, you know, more rock solid, won't be as uh, upset by the wind. So let me go into detail how to do that. Okay, from the forward programming screen, you know, again, I need to hit the throttle cut and then I'm going to select gyro settings. From gyro settings, I'm going to go to flight mode setup. In flight mode setup, I'm going to go to FM channel. Okay, from this screen, select flight mode channel. Of course, now it says inhibit. And then uh, through auto select, now assuming that you've already programmed the switch that you want to a channel, in this case I want B, and I already have here, I can simply flip that switch. So in this case, I'll flip the switch. You say it says auxiliary four, which I'd already pre-programmed in channel assign and hit OK. By the way, the second way to go about doing this is it says FM channel and switch. So I can select the flight mode channel and switch as well. So, you know, if I haven't assigned a channel, I can actually assign that channel in this screen as well. So go ahead and assign the switch that you choose and assign the channel that you choose. And of course, on the right hand side of the screen, there's a monitor that shows you the various channels that are available. Um, so you'll know what's available to use and so on. Then I hit next. And one thing that you'll notice here in the top of the screen, it now says flight mode one. When I flip the switch, flight mode two. And when I flip it to the third position, I get flight mode three. The other thing that you need to notice is it says activate over here. Now, one thing that's really important, anytime you're utilizing flight modes, like gains and so on are actually adjusted for each flight mode. Now, I want to turn flight mode one off or inactive, inhibit actually. And so let me go here. I'm going to select inhibit. So now flight mode one's inhibit. I switch to flight mode two and that's still active. And then I switch to flight mode three and that's also active. Okay. So that's how we set up flight mode switch. Next, we're going to set up gains for each flight mode. So again, from the flight mode setting screen, you'll go to gyro settings and then AS3X settings and then AS3X gains. So again, it says flight mode one. Now I have a blank screen. How come? The reason I have a blank screen is because in flight mode one, the gains are inactive. So watch what happens when I switch to flight mode two. Flight mode two, now I have roll, pitch, and yaw gains. And you'll see those are preset to 40, 50, and 60. So any time that those are established, the same thing will happen in that in flight mode two, if I rotate the knob all the way counterclockwise, I have zero gain. If I rotate it all the way to clockwise, I get these gains and anywhere in between. So for example, if I'm at roughly 50% gain here, I would get 20, 25, and 30% gains. So in flight mode two, the gain range is now set to 40, 50, and 60. Let me go to flight mode three, and it's also preset at 40, 50, and 60. Now for flight mode three, I said earlier that I'm gonna increase these gains, and let me go ahead and increase them up to 75%. Let me go to 93%, and I'm gonna to go to 100% on y'all. Now again, this depends on your aircraft, okay? So, um, you know, if you have a highly responsive aircraft, these might be high, but keep in mind that these are adjustable by utilizing the knob in conjunction with the flight mode. So typically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up, fly the airplane, you know, you start out with the, with the gains turned off in flight mode one, 
you're going to go up and fly. Um, and then when you're in a safe position, you know, you're high enough, you feel confident, you have good control of the airplane, flip to flight mode two with the knob turned all the way counterclockwise and start turning it clockwise until you know you, it feels good or until you start to feel oscillation. Then if you choose to, you can land and there's a function that's, a, that's called um, capture gains. And if you do that, it will preset those gains and then reprogram. And it'll know that particular gain in that flight mode will no longer be here. So when you're, when you're happy with the gains in a particular flight mode with the knob, you can go to the capture settings capture those gains and then it will permanently put those gains here and that will that will always be active. So capturing AS3X gains. So we're going to go to the AS3X settings and you'll notice at the bottom of this list is capture gyro grains. Go ahead and insert there and then of course you've flown already and You'll notice that, by the way, in this case, when I rotate the knob, those gains will be, um, you'll change those gains. You can see the gains go up when they're clockwise, and that's 40, 50, and 60. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, that's all the way down, that's zero. And we'll say I flow, and by the way, this is in flight mode two. So I've been up flying, and I rotate the knob, and you know, I find that, hey, I am really happy with the way that the gains are working at 26, 36, and 43. And so what I want to do is I want to capture those gains. So go down to the bottom of the list here, hit capture gains. And now those gains are captured and they're no longer adjustable. Those are fixed gains. So that's how you set up gains utilizing flight modes and a rotary knob.